dudes in mixed martial arts. Rory McDonald versus BJ Penn. It is a potential changing of the guard. When they talk about the greatest fighters of all time, I don't ever hear my name coming up anymore. I'm just sick of it. I want to get back to the glory days. He is one of the greatest lightweight fighters to ever walk the face of the planet. He's also held the welterweight title and one of the very few fighters to hold titles in two separate divisions. He is a former jiu-jitsu world champion. It's not over. Rory McDonald is a dangerous assassin. As a young kid, I looked up to BJ. As a man, I don't anymore. His best days are behind him, but it doesn't matter to me. You know, he's just another fighter on his way to losing to me. He thinks it's all about size and strength. Martial arts is all about the small man beating the big man. That's what it's about. BJ Penn has had a huge rivalry with George St. Pierre. Rory McDonald and George St. Pierre, they are very similar in the ability, the, the dynamic energy they bring into the octagon, the aura. Rory, you're dealing with a man in his prime who's got so much more experience than you that you don't even know what to do with it. All the power to you, man. It's just, I'm sorry you picked me to fight me, you know? Like, it's just the wrong guy, man. <laughs> Four. BJ Penn is ready to make a statement as he battles Rory McDonald. You are watching the UFC on Fox. Our tale of the tape for this welterweight fight is sponsored by Bud Light. Here we go. The prodigy, BJ Penn, is a decade older than the Canadian. Rory McDonald, who is taller and will have a six and a half inch reach advantage once again, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC welterweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, a boxer and a jiu-jitsu fighter, holding a professional record, 13 wins, one loss. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Montreal, Quebec, Canada, Rory! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu fighter, only a professional record. 16 wins, 8 losses, 2 draws. He stands 5 feet 90, 68 pounds. Fighting out of white knuckles. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. Herb Dean, our referee. Rory McDonald has reignited the fire in the Hawaiian BJ Penn, and he wants to scrap. Fight Clock brought to you by Quentin Tarantino's Django Unchained in theaters Christmas Day. BJ Penn initiates the takedown attempt. And he is being pressed up against the cage by a much larger man. Rory, before he makes his weight cut down to 170, can get as high as 200 pounds ripped. BJ woke up yesterday at 168, Joe. Well, BJ, though, one thing, though, he has not dehydrated himself. He has not weakened his body to try to make weight. Rory most certainly has. Has he recovered enough to make it an advantage today? That's what we're going to find out, but he is most certainly the bigger, stronger guy. And in this position, where you have a guy pressed up against a cage, you're making him hold your weight like this, it can wear on you. BJ's conditioning coach, Tony Aponte, who has had some battles of his own, and we have our prayers out for you, Tony, said, as BJ Penn has trained for this fight, he can go six rounds of five minutes. He was running at a pace with a 140-pound soccer player, put on seven pounds of muscle and bulk. Quick jab by Rory. A jab by Rory, and Rory had landed a nice left hook to the body earlier that really got BJ's attention. He most certainly has a height and reach advantage and a nice leg kick by Rory. And he went high, he faked low and went high. 
BJ Penn counters with the right hand. Nice right hand over the top by BJ. McDonald again trying to establish the jab that everyone at Faraz Sahabi's gym uses so well. He's got to be careful with the placement of his left hand because BJ's looking to come over with that right hand. You see BJ measuring the amount of distance he has and looking for an opening where Rory has that left hand low. And Rory's attacking with a low roundhouse kick to the calf and shin area. Rory McDonald grew up two hours north of here in the beautiful province of British Columbia. He moved to Montreal, Quebec, Canada to, as he said, pursue greatness with George St. Pierre, Faraz Sahabi and the crew. Oh, again, he's trying that low roundhouse kick and then it goes high. He fakes with the low and then goes high. Joe, at age 19, McDonald helped GSP prepare for a fight with BJ Penn. Left hand connects. BJ's got him down now. And Rory back up to his feet and down again. In front of the corner of BJ Penn, his brother JD. Rory's trying to trap it. And Rory's got it free here. And Rory will try to spin him around and turn BJ towards the cage, and he does. Good elbow by Rory. Solid elbow. And that one made BJ adjust his mouthpiece. BJ does have Kevlar for skin. He has been in the octagon so many times. Tonight, his 22nd UFC fight. Good shot to the body. An under, uh, a left hook to the body by Rory. Tito Ortiz with the record of 27, Hughes with 25, Couture 24, Liddell 23. 22 tonight for the Prodigy. Single attempt by Rory. BJ's fading a bit, Mike. One minute on the clock here in the first. Stiff jab. He could try to finish it in this 45 seconds on the clock in the first. It was an elbow that staggered him. BJ's looking to defend himself here. Completely defensive. Oh, body shot by McDonald. 30. Again, he tries that low fake and then goes high with that roundhouse kick. Another elbow. He's really pressuring BJ here now. This clinch may get him to the end of the round. Another good elbow by McDonald. A night. What a great first round for McDonald. Then here we see the damage that Rory McDonald did to BJ Penn. It was that short left elbow. Rory McDonald, a great strength and conditioning program as well. Well, I think that may be a big key in this fight. Besides the technical ability, Rory McDonald was very fresh at the end of the first round, whereas BJ noticeably tired. He works with Jonathan Chamber, who is in his corner. He's trained a ton with Pittsburgh Penguins all-star defenseman Chris Letang. It's a three-round fight. The message in the corner of BJ Penn was basically, let's scrap, dig down. Let's start to get the momentum in our corner. Well, uh, unfortunately, they didn't have much to say to him technically. It was mostly just cheerleading. BJ Penn has never oh, been knocked brilliant down. Brilliant combination. Left hook, right hand by Rory, and then a front kick to cap it off. This is starting to look like Rory is measuring BJ. What we have here, Joe, is the potential of a true changing of the guard. A young man who started training all facets of MMA at age 14. 
and the combinations he's landing on BJ now. So much more technical. Nice shot to the body. And McDonald Joe really stepping into the jab, very much like we saw George St. Pierre do against Josh Koscheck. BJ's got to really make something happen here to get Rory's respect. He's got to land something big. He's got to go for broke. Joe, you and I... Nice oh, there's throw. a nice right hand by BJ. He needs more of that. Joe, you and I both knew coming in. BJ may very well be better than ever and prepared, but it might not be enough against this new breed. Well, not only that, you got to deal with the fact that BJ really should be fighting at 155 pounds. That's where he truly Taking is Taking the these best. fights against guys like Nick Diaz, guys like... Rory McDonald, they're bigger guys, period. And there's a reason why these people cut all this weight to get down to 170. It's because it benefits them. Big and that's kick where to the BJ body. was the most dominant, as you that know. That one hurt him. Oh, that one hurt him, too. Head kick. BJ's in a lot of trouble here. Rory's, Rory's, shot. Rory's just measuring him. Very disciplined attack by McDonald here. But Rory, BJ's just standing right in front of him. He's got a circle in the to the body. A big shot. This may be it. Penn is still in it for now. BJ's trying. He tried with that left hook. But he's is, taking so much damage yeah, to the body. That is one scrappy Hawaiian. Rory McDonald looks magnificent tonight. Rory's talking to him here. Rory said I don't said know what he said to him. Oh, again. my God. Digging with that hook to the liver. BJ's become a punching bag here. Over this is top. just target practice for Rory. Rory has already set a personal best with significant strikes landed at 89. Well, one of the things that we said coming into this fight, Mike, was that with yeah. Rory, you, you never know what you're going to see from him because he improves every time. And this is unquestionably the best version of one of the scariest guys already in the list of contenders at 170. He looks even better today than we've ever seen him before. Joe, that said, with a minute left in this round and BJ trying to survive, it makes me think back to the UFC in Vancouver in 2010 when Rory had gotten the better of Carlos Condit for two rounds, but Condit ended up stopping the fight with seven seconds left. McDonald wants the takedown, and he gets it. Well, let's see if BJ tries to attack off of his back here. few fighters that was able to pass BJ's guard repeatedly was George St. Pierre, the training partner of Rory McDonald. Ten seconds. Bloodied, bruised, but not beaten. The prodigy BJ Penn. The doctors taking a look at BJ Penn. And they will continue. Rory McDonald has finished 12 of his 13 career victories. The only time he has gone the distance was when he defeated Nate Diaz at 170. Nate Diaz fights Benson Henderson for the lightweight title tonight. And that was the fight that sent Nate down to 155. It was a Too small for this weight class. But his performance in that fight was not nearly as as impressive as his performance tonight against BJ. It was different, too. It was the slams and the suplexes. Now it's the striking. Yeah. BJ's trying to take him down. If BJ has an advantage, it certainly would be on the ground. Especially if he can get on top.
E.J. Penn takes a look at the clock. It's, it's, it's submit him or knock him out, though, Joe, here in the third for B.J. Penn, much I'll like it was for it. Carlos Condit in Vancouver. Even more so. Agreed. Roy just looks so good on his feet. I mean, I'm, I'm so impressed with the way he's stringing these combinations together. And he is as big as any member of the welterweight class. He slipped. That is a big welterweight, just 23 years old. And a sizable advantage with his personal best of 102 and counting, significant strikes landed. benefiting also Mike for the fact that his striking attack is so diverse whereas BJ is primarily attacking with punches Rory is really mixing it up with everything kicks and elbows and is very unpredictable in his attack and very good at fainting there's so many feints he's throwing so much misdirection look at that beautiful switch kick jab and then switch this fight, originally scheduled for UFC 152 in Toronto in September, Rory got caught in training. They fight tonight on Fox. Rory McDonald debuted at age 20. He was the youngest fighter in the UFC when he beat Mike Guyman back in January of 2010. What we are seeing is the results of hard work and that decision to make the trip to Montreal and train at TriStar with the elite of the elite of MMA fighters, not just in Canada, but some of the best in the world. To pursue greatness. To pursue greatness, Mike. And you're seeing it right now. I mean, he, he just looks sensational here yeah. against a Hall of Famer. No question about it. One of the best. One of only two men to win the belt in two weight classes. The other is in our Fox studio tonight, the Hall of Famer, Randy Couture. And Rory is walking through this man. With this fight going as long as it has, Joe, B.J. Penn has passed Tito Ortiz for the most time fought in UFC history. Tito has marked five hours, 53 seconds of total octagon time. They break. Time not in the favor of BJ Penn here. Again, Rory goes with that fake jab and then digs with the left hook to the body. Head kick again. B.J. Penn needs to pull a Carlos Condit somehow. He's dropping his hands in front of B.J. and taunting him now. Or an Anderson Silva, Chael Sonny. Roy McDonald has been dominant against the future Hall of Famer. Big elbow and a left hook behind it by Rory. And again, digs with that left to the body. GSP is right. Roy McDonald might be the next GSP. He is the next generation. Jab, leg kick, front kick, right hand. That kid is good. Rory McDonald, dominant tonight against the prodigy, DJ Penn. Back to Seattle for the official decision next on Fox. The UFC on Fox is sponsored by Metro PCS the official wireless partner of the UFC. UFC is moving to Metro. Everybody's moving to Metro. And by The Last Stand. In theaters everywhere, January 18th. Rated R. Fox Sports coverage of the UFC continues on Friday with a full night of fights on both Fuel TV and FX. 
Then on Saturday, January 26th, the UFC will be back here on Fox as Rampage Jackson returns to the Octagon. Plus, flyweight champion Demetrius Johnson puts his title on the line against John Dotson. Fox Sports is your home for the UFC. A great performance turned in by Rory McDonald against the prodigy B.J. Penn with the official decision. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. The judges score this contest 30-26, 30-26, and 30-27. Declaring the winner by unanimous decision, Rory Aries McDonald. He defeats B.J. Penn with an impressive performance. Here's Joe. All right, I'm here with the winner, Rory McDonald. Rory, the, the biggest name of your career, the biggest assignment of your career, and the, the most impressive victory so far. How are you feeling right now? Before I get to that, I have something to say. I'm taking it. There's a guy that humiliated me a couple years ago, and I want my revenge, Carlos Connett. I want a rematch, accept my challenge. Let's do it in March, my home territory again. And I'm gonna get my revenge. I know that's a very important fight for you, but let's talk about this fight tonight. BJ Penn, th uh, the biggest name in your career. Is this your most impressive victory? Uh, every fight's most important, you know? I, uh, you know, like I said to BJ after the fight, you know, it's one guy that I really, really looked up to growing up. He was a huge role model for me and how I train, what I wanted to get good at. So he's a hero to me, but any man that I step inside this octagon, I have to put that aside and look at him like any other target. You hurt him badly in the second round. Let's take a look at the big screen with a vicious elbow while standing up. You staggered him. And then you hit him with some nasty body punches. Did you think that you were going to be able to take him out at that point? Uh, I was just staying calm, cool, and collected, picking my shots. BJ's dangerous at all times, so I didn't want to get ahead of myself and rush in and get countered. So I took my time, because it's always my goal to finish, but. Listen, Roy, exciting, exciting decision victory. Congratulations. Look forward to seeing you again. You're still one of the most impressive prospects in the welterweight division. Rory McDonald, ladies and gentlemen. Rory McDonald defeats the future Hall of Famer. Rory McDonald is 23.